check-in was pretty easy. Our names were there, we got our tags. Really excited to be here. Uh, so thanks for the invitation, Super RV Show. We're super stoked to be here. And this place is massive. You would not believe how big it is. So I think I know where I'm gonna be focusing on, but. one of our favorite molded fiberglass campers, RVs, mobile living units. So let's take a look around this beauty. Now this one is the 10-2. She is just gorgeous. So let's take a look. Okay. So guys, if you want to buy it, the show price is 50,000 US. It's got Sleeps two, fresh tank, 36 gallons, gray tank, 40 gallons, black tank is 18 gallons. So the limited edition package has the chocolate sandstone interior, Onan generator, and dually brackets. And this one is compatible with a full size and long bed truck. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the specs, and we're gonna take a look inside. Now, all right, to start with, we have a rear awning and uh, a ladder built in, helps you get up to the roof. And screen door, of course, which is essential. And the little flap there to pass drinks to whoever's outside. And we do love this step. Okay, so that just folds up. Oh, nice. So that's an added step. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, beauty. It's a beautiful unit. Yeah, and this is the model with the dry bath. So I'm gonna try and get this all in the frame. You got your vent fan there. A little sink and that's your dry bath area so your shower curtain would go up there and that can be moved in and out which is ideal so if you don't want to have that in the way when you're going to the bathroom you could just move that out of the way that's your toilet and this is a sliding door which is really great so that it's not swinging in the way if somebody's in the hallway. You have your mirror there. Let's take a look at the size of this. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the size of this. I actually have elbow room here. It's so cool. Love the elbow room. So this here is a little wardrobe and storage area. And down here, solar charge controller, uh, the start the start button for the generator, the Onan generator. Now this is for the awning, so it's an automatic awning. And can you tell me what this one is? It's for the lighting. Oh, it's for your lighting outside, perfect. Um, yes. This is set up to handle up to three different units, 300 watts. 300 um, watts? Right, it's nice. got 200 on the roof, solar panels. Okay, and then you could add another could 100 add another solar one. suitcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, that's it beautiful. And a battery disconnect there. You got your furnace here, some, <laughs> some drawers in there. And that actually sticks really well for when you're traveling. This one is all imported. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's look, a beautiful unit. That is beautiful. Another little storage area there. And the fridge, and look at the size of this fridge. Now, my one complaint about this fridge is I don't like the mirrors on here. Now, in a unit this size, you kind of have to put the full length mirror somewhere. However, I know me and I know I'm going to crack that mirror. So that's one thing that's on the practical side. It's not great for me personally. That's just a question of personal preference. So you got that huge 
huge freezer. Now, how many cubic feet is this fridge and freezer? I believe it's seven. It's about seven cubic mm -hmm. feet. That is outstanding, especially for a camper this size, right? Mm -hmm. Outstanding. All right. So then um, I do love the oven. I love baking. I love making bread, cookies, that kind of stuff. And uh, to have that in an RV is just spectacular. Actually, we use ours all the time. Do you? Yeah, most people will say they don't, but uh, we do. I guess it depends on how hot the day is, right? Mm. Did you so, look, did you look at the pantry? I didn't see the pantry. I would oh, love to see that. Oh, this is like a dream. Oh my gosh! It comes out. Oh, I see because it's, it's, got a, it's got a little hook to keep it in place for when you're traveling. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this amazing pantry. That is beautiful. I don't think that was in one of the units that we saw um, when we were at the factory. Great. This can be obtained in either this type of a, uh, a dinette or you can get the, the U shaped. Uh, oh, yeah. This is kind of nice though. Depends how many people you are, right? Mm -hmm. And did you see the oven light? The oven window? The oven window? They had it. Oh, Special look at that. Made. It actually has a window on it. Okay, because normally the camper up. stoves don't? No. Oh, I no, didn't know that. It's just like one piece across. This is the only one that I know of that actually has a window in it. Oh, great. And, you know, you could replace it if something happens to it. It's not like. Now, having experience with this camper, mm -hmm. um, how much propane does the oven use? Is it a lot? No. Not too bad? No. I mean, it depends on how long you cook. Okay. You know, but it really doesn't use that much. You're baking a cake. So you don't, you don't use the oven. I cook something, yeah. Yeah. Like a pizza, fries, you know, things like that. Not too bad. And it does not take much. Now, I love this three burner stove too. That is just beautiful. Yes. Pick up. So your experience with this camper, um, do you feel like it's a true four season camper? Oh, definitely. Do you get a lot of condensation in here when you're when it's cold outside? No. No? No. If you get any condensation, it would be you keep your cabinets open if you're storing it. Okay. Let's say you're storing it for a month. You're not you're not going. Anywhere. No, what I mean is if you're if you're inside and it's cold outside, do you get do you have issues with condensation? Not really. No. no? Okay. No, no. This, this is strictly no. four season. Definitely four uh, season. Because we so. currently have the fifth wheel escape and we find that when it's cold outside and we're inside we have really bad condensation at at the head of the bed no. and behind the cushions actually and you no. don't experience that at all no. wow this and helps out a lot yeah we do have that you know the other thing is you can get it at um, any store it's called damp rid true it's enough in little containers yeah and stick it in a cupboard or stick it somewhere mm -hmm. where you don't and it, it takes any moisture that's in your camper out. I keep it in ours. We have an overhead compartment yeah. and I keep it in that. In a very small compartment, it's actually smaller than this. No, it's about the same size. Okay. I guess all of that hot air that we're breathing creates condensation on the walls, but that's neither here nor there. So well, it's almost impossible to totally eliminate it. Before. Yeah, and that could be why there's carpet um, on that back wall and here because it helps protect with, it. helps protect mm -hmm. it from condensation. Mm -hmm. So also, I did want to also yeah, the insulation ahead. properties on it. True enough. It's it's just higher quality insulation yeah, because quality. it is a four season camper. Um, your max fan and uh, Dometic air conditioner. And uh, we have cabinetry up here. It's pretty good. And then let's see. So up here, so this is uh, your levels, right? So your holding tank, fresh water levels. And then this is for your fantastic vent and the thermostat. Okay, so that controls the heat, got it. All right, and then, okay, so then you have the cushioning and beneath um, the dinette, you have these cabinets here for storage. And now there's a little bit of storage down there for shoes, which is great because in a camper this size, you do want to have a place to store the shoes. This is the dinette. And this is your little window through to the cab. Speaker system down here. Mm -hmm. Now this is for the furnace as well? Exactly. Great. 
And so this folds down. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. And I love, I love that. So that folds down so that you can make it a, a little twin or single bed. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And so this here is your fuse box. Yes. Great. And the kitchen. Oh, this kitchen is so big. Oh my gosh. Look it's at awesome. how big this sink is. This is outstanding. And nice comes with a nice sink cover. Some cabinetry here as well for your silverware. Is there Oh, so that that would be for like the sponges, right? Mm -hmm. Great. And this is for the hot water so you can turn the hot water in there. And this is for paper towels, which I wish more companies would think of putting this somewhere because you always need paper towels inside little light and awning style windows which we absolutely love and there is a screen yes lovely look at this i just love this look at this design this is outstanding so this is your it's a furion fan this is a furion stove vent fan a little bit of storage up there for dishes up there and Dun, 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 dun. Hidden microwave. How cool. My favorite thing. I know, right? <laughs> it's so easy, especially oh, on yeah. hot days when you don't oh, want to yeah. heat up the camper. All right, so you got a little system here. So that's a little um, radio system. And let's see. Uh, so this is for radio. That's simply a radio, right? Yeah, radio. You should, put, you should be able to, uh, to put in DVDs uh, as DVDs well. DVDs and play it to the TVs behind it. Oh, perfect. So that of is that slides out like all of them. Okay. All right. So for the TV, you just pull that pin. Now that pin keeps it secure in place when you're traveling. Mm -hmm. And what am I missing here? What am I missing here? Oh, there we go. The second pin. Does it come all the way down? That uh, should be good right there. Oh, I see. Just turn the TV. <laughs> all right, there we go. 32 inch TV. So, you can watch TV from the dinette or while you're in bed. And that tucks away really nicely and it's secured in place for when you're traveling, which is just perfect. All right, so that's a quick step up to the bed. And this is a queen size bed. Yes. It's a queen size bed. It's been confirmed. And some storage in there with some hooks for hangers, which is awesome. And I just love this privacy screen. So if you are having your visitors, kids, grandkids coming to visit, there's a wee bit of privacy there. Or if you wanted to keep your windows open, um, in the dinette area and still have some privacy in bed then that's that's good for that as well so again awning style windows and there's some storage down here speaker over here furnace vents down there And a little escape hatch and moonroof, which I love. Just sleeping on the job now. I just <laughs> love that. Now, how do we open this? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's super easy. Oh my gosh, a child could do that. That is so easy. Again, awnings. And I really do like these reading lights over here. Nice little reading light. Overhead lights. So the one thing. Yeah, that closes also the, uh, the overhead vent. You close that off. So, and you have a screen, or when you have the moonroof closed and you don't want an early morning because of the sunset, then you just close that and you have a little shade. Now, ours doesn't have that, but the previous owners of our fifth wheel actually just put reflectix on top which is their makeshift way of doing that okay. doing that screen but it's obviously better that the manufacturer actually thought about it brilliant blackout interior 
sweet. This is black and all. Okay, black. Uh, you've also got the gray stroke. Okay. Uh, which, of course, is a gray, gray look to it. That's something that's kind of new. Uh, this, this is the traditional look, the wood look. The chocolate. This is, this is the wood look. What's your I favorite? Love. I love this one. This one? I love yeah, this one. it looks very. I, I just enjoy it. Traditional yeah. look. Yeah. And the cabinets, like I say, they're, they're quality cabinets. It's Absolutely. imported wood. Truck, it doesn't even have to be a dual. Put it on a single wheel truck. Yeah. I've driven it with one. But it's got to be like a 2500 or a 3500. Uh, For this size, you, probably a 3500, right? A 3500. Yeah, okay. Either a 350 or a yeah. 3500 Dodge. Yeah, we didn't want to change our truck. That's why we went towards the Escape mm -hmm. fiberglass trailer. But this, if we had had that size of a truck, this would have been my first choice for sure. Because you have the living space and you have, you know, the mobility and the flexibility because your, you know, your footprint is really the footprint of a truck. Mm -hmm. It's great. You can park you know, anywhere. Actually, we have a Class A. It sits in the driveway at home. So we decided, well... We don't want to take it out of the driveway to stay one night someplace. No kidding. So we started looking at a small pop-up camper. Yeah. We put on an F-150. Well, that F-150 turned into a 250 with a larger unit. And yeah. It turned into a larger camper. Yeah. With a 350 dually. Yeah. So now we're. <laughs> and you know, not to mention the fuel efficiency compared to a Class A, right? Uh, it's about 50 percent more, maybe a little better. Yeah. Than yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much for your time. It has been lovely touring this unit, which is the 2020 Northern Light 10 to you. So now we know here from experience that we have our propane bottles that slide out, which is just brilliant because if you're tucking it into a small space, you don't want to have to wrestle with it to get it out. That's locked, but this is the generator your furnace exhaust and this would be the dual batteries dual battery boxes yeah beautiful i just out oh, there's your solar panel at the top <laughs>